Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Freshly Grounded episode 296. We're four episodes away from the big 300 for which Sam is going to be coming down to Dubai, which would be nice. And I think we need to do a, we definitely need to arrange this um, meet and greet, meet up. We're going to do like a coffee shop. The plan is to do like a coffee shop meet up. That's the plan, but we haven't arranged it yet. And we're just weeks away, four weeks to be exact. Uh, this week's episode is with a man known as Rafi Philly. Now, Rafi is the owner, CEO, founder of one of the largest um, chains here in in the UAE called Philly Caf. And um, as you guys know, we are huge uh, f- uh, chai fans here at Freshly Grounded. Uh, we love chai. And um, and so anyway, I was introduced to Philly through Mufti Mank and I heard his story and it was phenomenal. And the, 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 the crux of it being that um, Raf came over here uh, from India and uh, about 20 years ago and started working as a merchandiser. So he would go to the various supermarkets and make sure that Nivea's products were being displayed in the correct way. And then eventually he ended up working in warehousing when he got fired from his job. And he would work during the days in warehousing and during the nights he would work at his one store that he that he, that he had and he would sleep like two or three hours a night, go back to work and, and run like that for a long time before now being one of the biggest, it's, Philly is everywhere. If you come to the UAE, you can't go really anywhere any location without having a Philly nearby. And um, so w- once I had met him, I invited him onto a podcast. I wanted to kind of dive into his mentality and uh, he's very kind and generous to give us his time. And so I think you guys will enjoy this episode. It's myself, Kaya, Cairo and Rafi from Philly. Uh, so get your notebooks out. It's a very beneficial and great episode. Episode 296 of Freshly Grounded. Enjoy. And welcome to a freshly grounded, the brand new podcast. Well, it's not exactly brand new anymore, is it? Welcome to freshly grounded, the podcast. That's better. Created by best friends Faisal and Sam. Huh? I welcome. I said welcome to freshly grounded. After that bit. Created by. After that bit. Best friends, Faisal and Sam. Really? Okay, we're on. We're live. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, Rafi. How are you doing? All good. Doing fantastic, brother. Now, we must start in the only way we can start this podcast, and that's by opening up some, some teas that we've ordered in. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> you might be familiar with this brand. Uh, I, bought, I just got everyone some, I got everyone some uh, Zafran tea, which is the speciality. Yeah, exactly. But I got the light sugar one. I like the light sugar one. We do you do have, have that? We do have the. Yeah, that's sugar. the one I got. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fantastic. I like that one. I like that one. Cause you still, you feel like you're still getting the sugar. Yeah, I, but you feel like you're a bit cleaner. Much like Philly's usually, uh, the sugar's on point. Okay, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Get a, get a brand. There's a man of brand. Think, yeah, he's heard it, so the camera can catch the brand. The brand yeah. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like it. I love that. I love that. Uh, all right, so I think we have to at least have the Thai master. Uh, pour us at least uh, one of the cups and then yes. after that we can just pour it. So if you could do the honours please, uh, Rafi, and pour us a cup of... Uh, Wait, I need to pour this on? Yeah, in, you're in the chai... In this podcast, the guest pours the... In, the you're the chai yeah. master, we oh, can't... Okay, okay, yeah. right, let me stand then. Okay. Yeah, you have to show us how it's done. That's what I guess pouring his own drink. <laughs> we, should, we should be taking lessons it, here. Mate, this is elite clip content right yeah. here. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. It's still got the steam coming out of it. I mean, of it course. That's very kind. Thank you so and that's much. That's been there for a while. That's boiling hot. Yeah. That's excellent carton carton game. Cheers, Thank you very much. Mate, it's like spice beautifully, mashallah. Bismillah. Kato. You know what? Rafi gifted me the tea bag version. Oh. And it's very, very good. Like, you can get the taste. The, 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 I think, like... The other version, you would need a. Um, okay, for you. You know the one, the, you, Raf, you know the one that you gave me that was like the loose the, the tea. Z- Zafran one, Zafran one. Yeah, the loose one though. Yeah. For that, would you need a um, what is it called? Like a a filter. No, so yeah. it's, uh, you made the pouch one. How, yeah, how would you make that one? Yeah. So normally, how you make this tea, right? Yeah. It, it, you use it instead of the tea powder. You this uh, use uh, this uh, tea powder. It has an aroma of zafran and cardamom. 
But do I put it in a um, one of those? You know those like a, a kettles that has like a thing, a diffuser. Do, I, do you put it in a diffuser? No, it's not. Normally, you do. Uh, I mean, how you make the chai, right? So you, tea, you put the tea powder and everything. Ah. Later, later you filter it. Do you know what the problem is here? <laughs> the problem is you never made a chai in your life. Do you, you're talking <laughs> to an Englishman here. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking uh, PG tips, tea bag in the tea. Uh, no, no. And you're talking <laughs> making chai yeah, like traditionally. Yeah, 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 exactly. fine. In that case, we're not speaking the same language here. I have no idea. I, I think we are given the other one also. The, the you did. Dip tea also. That's the one I used. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. You can just put it but there. I want to try the other one. So do you know what? We'll make it. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Why are you doing that? I haven't got the the filly. One which I want to get. Can you buy that from the shop? They're just a loose tea. Yeah, we do have. That. I don't even know you could do that. I'm gonna get that. Yeah, yeah definitely. But I'll, I'll put it in the kettle and I'll just like strain it. Then those little sieves, I just strain it and then. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. There you yeah. go, mate. That's what I have. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the typical like uncultured person way of doing next, it. Next time you should try the uh, not the light one. If if you want to get the real taste, the real taste, and the, get the signature one. I mean, we. Really light I, I do like the signature one. Yeah. I, I I have had that, but I feel like I've been having too much sugar recently. Yeah, so okay. I was like, I better be good. Uh, but I, you 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 feel the same taste, right? Oh, it's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I was okay. I was actually surprised because when I at first uh, the first one I got the light one from was the Sports City brand uh, one, right? Okay. And I asked them for the light one, and I was expecting it to be really bland. Okay. But I just left the gym. I was feeling good. I was okay. like, I shouldn't get as much sugar. Um, but it was really good. Really good. good. Yeah. I was really surprised. Yeah, you can still get a nice, sweet taste from it. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, brother. Thank you. So, uh, Rafi, let's talk a bit about you. So, um, I've I, I I came across your story quite recently, and I was really really inspired by it. And I thought there'll be so many other people who'll be inspired by this story. Right. And um, so I contacted Mufti Mank, right. and I said, I know you know Rafi. Right. Is there any chance you can connect me? I felt shy to do that because I don't normally ask like him for things right. but I was, he was like absolutely and then he like i think later that day he gave you a call and stuff like that so jazakallah khair to him uh, what really uh, uh, you know inspired me about your story i'm sure the brothers are here as well is kind of it's a like it's like a hollywood movie is it that's what it sounds like okay uh, or bollywood movie should i say <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um yeah. but it, it really does sound like uh, just a, a book could be written on it and I'm I'm sure you have that plan at some time in the future to write a book if you don't make that plan no, yeah. <laughs> no, no, because, we do, we do. because yeah. that would be incredible but um, let's start at the very very beginning um, so what was kind of your childhood and upbringing like where were you born where were you raised and then I suppose like at what point did you then come over to the UAE actually um, yes, actually I'm from India I born uh, uh, you know uh, I, I, India Kerala Okay. So my place is at uh, Kasaragod. I'm from Kasaragod, in the state of Kerala, and country like India. So, uh, so after my graduation and everything, I moved to Dubai. I came to uh, Dubai in 2003. Uh, then I was working in a company. I got a job. Uh, I was working in a company uh, under Nivea. Of course, Nivea is again an international brand. I was working as a merchandiser. And even uh, I started this filly in 2004. It was a just humble beginning uh, and beautiful place in uh, Dubai, Mamzer. That time, the Mam Mamzer is not that familiar place. So it was it was a beach. Uh, I was talking about the year 2004. So it was a beach and everything. It was like a isolated. W w people who come for a beach, they will come f by evening. And hardly they spent two hours, one hour. That's it. You know mm -hmm. that. But I, I was open the store that time. Because my father had a small store that time. You know, he left India uh, leaving the store. And I moved to Dubai. I was working in Anivia. Then I, I told my father, let me take out this story, you know. Okay, so let, let's check back a bit because I want to I wanna get into the, the juice of this story. So uh, what were you doing? You were a merchandiser at Anivia. What, 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 what did that look like on a day-to-day basis? What were you doing? So merchandising, you know that because the, the job of the merchandiser is there because we, we need to, uh, the Anivia is applying to the in, uh, all supermarkets, all the hypermarkets and everything. So you see that all the shelf, uh, as a merchandiser, we need to go to the shelf uh, morning before the uh, uh, the store opening. Uh, for example, carry uh, We need to go to the carry morning, and we have to make sure that all 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 irrespective uh, respective of the planogram, it should be keep it as a sh in the shelf uh, as per the planogram. Ah, uh, I see. Fine. So, yeah, and we have to make sure th uh, the stock is there in the all, on the shelf. I see. Okay. Yeah, we have to, as a merchandiser, we need to feel that. Fine. Yeah, we need to feel that. Fine. So that's my job uh, during that time. Fine. And so before that, when you were in, uh, you were in India and you were studying in India, kind of growing up, childhood, family life. What was family life like? Were you guys? Um, did you guys have a lot of wealth? Uh, would you class yourself as working class? Like, how was how was just generally your childhood? No, we are from the 
average class. So my father, uh, after you know, he had a, actually I told right, he had a, a, caf- a cafe in yeah, Dubai. Yeah, then he moved to India and he started his venture. Uh, it's called the manufacturing the mattress. Okay. He started the venture manufacturing mattress. Okay. But Alhamdulillah, we are not very, very big sound. We are okay. <laughs> we are from the uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, good background family. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So. When it comes to Dubai, of course, Dubai is, you know, the people who come to Dubai is, uh, the, the main intention is to come to Dubai and coming out of the country is that to seek the job. Right. For me, also one of that. So uh, seek the job, getting the job, uh, make a good life. That was the first, first intention to coming to Dubai after graduation. Were you married at this point? Uh, at that time, no. Okay. No, I was just 21. When I moved to Dubai, I was just 21. Okay. Yeah. And how long were you at Nivea then? I was there almost a year. One year, that's all it took? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One year, one year. By the time I started this one, Alhamdulillah, there there are a lot of plus and minus that time. Yeah. But Alhamdulillah, so you know, as long as the business, there's a struggle. There's a plus and minus and keep moves on. Alhamdulillah. So how was the conversation then with your dad when you wanted to take... So your dad had... Was was the store that your dad had like Philly or was it just... Actually, it was not a Philly because Philly is my nickname. Okay. Where does that come from? It's from school. Okay. Yeah, Philly is actually it's actually the initial from the old, uh, some of the five friends, and we created a name called Philly. Okay. That put it on the my. Uh, then it became a uh, nickname. Then became a surname. Then became a brand name. Wow. Yeah, Philly is. Philly is your actual surname? Yeah, surname now. Allah. Yeah. <laughs> it became a surname. Uh, then my father, uh, the cafe name was Alzumla Cafeteria. So then people who comes evening after the beach or anything, so the Arab culture, you know that they want a karak. Mm. They, they want karak in the evening. So then they start asking for the uh, karak. That time we were not giving any karak at the store. Then the idea came in that, okay, people inquiring about the chai. Then, mashallah, I introduced a tea, which is, I name it Philly tea later on. So it became a very uh, popular word of mouth in Dubai. You know, the, it has a good taste. Of course, you tried right now and you're also surprising the tea. The same taste I continue from the starting till now with the consistency remains same. Alhamdulillah, so it became a word of mouth and it became a uh, favorite hotspot to the people, uh, even Arabs or any, any, anybody. Alhamdulillah, that's how we created the uh, vibe, vibe in the market. It's, it's created by people. By the way, it's created by people. They, they, they build the network. Mm-hmm. So they, once you try today, you're telling your friend, you're bringing your friend, you're gathering that. It's became a, uh, what we call, it's became a destination for the child. That's how, Alhamdulillah, this brand, starting of the brand. So that's how. And I removed the, uh, it was a, uh, the name was before Alzuma La Cafeteria. Mm-hmm. Then I call it is a Philly, Philly Cafe and Philly Tea. So I replaced the name with the uh, Zumala to Philly then. Your dad must be a happy man. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. There's many stories about like people taking over their parents' businesses and then just like destroying just them. Just tanking it, it yeah. yeah. Mashallah, this is the opposite. Uh, and you've, you've expanded that. We were just talking before, the camera's switched on, expanding to London now, uh, US, Texas, right. and obviously in the region as well. You're in Oman, uh, Qatar. Where else, where else are you? Oh, uh, We are in almost nine countries. And we have the brand registration more than 50 countries now. Uh, it's I did it not not now. It's, I did the brand registration maybe ten years back. Even the US also. US we opened uh, 2021, uh, and even the it's it's already got expert. I mean we renew the second time. Is the trademark is uh, you know that normally they give for the ministry uh, for ten years. The US also we renew right now. So the plan was to go to years. More, it's almost eleven years back. Wow, okay. But after ten years we opened the store. Alhamdulillah. So the the plan is there. The vision is there. And Alhamdulillah now we are almost operating in nine countries. We are in most of the GCC country, and if we are talking about US, we are we are in UK, and we are coming in uh, Canada now, and we are coming in South Africa, mm-hmm. and Mauritius, Malay, uh, uh, Nepal, and all, and we have big plan in uh, Saudi Arabia and India as well, inshallah, Amazing. parallelly. So wanted to be a, gl- a gl- gl- global tea brand in the next ten years, and people's brand though. Yeah, when people think about tea, they should think, think about Philly. Okay. Uh, we need to create that revolution. Right. That, that's a plan. When it comes to tea, it's a Philly. Okay. So we are working for that. So people want to create a m- mindset. Mm-hmm. When you, you know that, of course, you know that. So that's our idea to create that. When people think about chai, they think about Philly. So inshallah, we are working for that. Inshallah. So inshallah. I hope that God will help us, inshallah. 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 It's such a whole. It's such a wholesome brand, isn't it? Like you sell good tea, yeah, and obviously yeah. I know you don't, just, you don't just sell tea. There's, there's food as well. But I'd love to one day shall I have a brand where it's just so wholesome. We just you're just selling great chai. Like it's just yeah. well spiced. It's like 20 years of 
of recipes been the same the whole time. Yeah. It just feel, it, like just you talking about it. It just feels so wholesome to me. Yeah, I don't authentic. Know. Yeah. yeah. When you grew the brand, so how did you manage scalability? Because if you've got this tea that you are, like fell in love with yourself and you're serving it very personally in the Mumza branch, and then now obviously fast forward and you got so many branches. How did you manage? to have scalability and to have the exact same tea in every single branch. I can imagine that being incredibly challenging. The first of all, the SOP is set. So the standard operating procedure is set, the recipe, everything is set. So only way we had to make sure that, I mean, the timing and everything. So we, the, the first thing, any business, the first thing is that SOP, that we st- set it in the beginning itself. But it is, it's not easy, you know that, to in the beginning uh, itself, you know, ma- maintaining the taste in every, every batch. Uh, it's it's nightmare until unless if you don't focus what you're doing and if you're off focus just one minute also the taste will vary mm. so you have to be if you want the exact taste you have to be always focused so then we made it we 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 think about a lot of you know behind the scene how to make it that you know when for ex- expanding the business the first thing is that okay i cannot be in the old place I'm here. I cannot go to the other place. The the main the main then what is main came coming that okay how to make it uh, you know SOP. So then once it SOP is set then you, f- for me a year or making in the US making in the UK a- a- anywhere you're making that the f- the final taste will be remain same. So that thing that that, that, that that that's the main thing I did it in uh, as a uh, making the bringing the same taste. Uh, behind that there are there are a lot of you know works and uh, hard work behind that. Uh, of course, you know that tea, after all, tea is tea. So yeah. it, 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 it has a, a time frame. So it, this, if you want to get a good tea, the same filly tea, it is almost 25, 27 minutes to boil it properly. Oh, really? Yeah, one batch is uh, much uh, taking that much of time. Wow. Yeah, so it's not easy. It's yeah, not easy. Do you have a big team? Yeah, we do have a big team, Alhamdulillah. So my team is now, uh, we have a big team and we have all, uh, the, all the hierarchy set. And I mean, for me to, I mean, the ground level, the, there are big team. So now the strength of the company is more than 500 people working. I, I, um, I was lucky enough to go to the uh, office the other day and it's beautiful head office. You just very, uh, very recently renovated it, right? Yeah, so we, we had already office uh, many years back, but this office we are talking about, we moved last uh, Ramzan. Okay. And again, it's opened by Mr. Mufti Mank. Yeah, yeah, His yeah, Excellency. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so out of all of that, because you, you seem to have met a lot of kind of like, um, famous people, some big names. Who's the most uh, who, who's the most impressive person that you met, or someone who you've enjoyed meeting the most? Yeah, you can't say Faisal, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Other, outside <laughs> of me, other than me. Yeah. So of course, Mufti is uh, uh, one of the b- 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 biggest. That uh, I know Mufti almost ten years back. Yeah. The reason behind meeting the Mufti is that my chai. Really? So, yeah, my chai. So he came to my store. I mean, uh, it's almost ten years back. He came to my second store, which is a library one, Mankul one. That's the biggest one at that time in Dubai. Okay. Uh, so he suddenly he came to store, and I, I I met Mufti inside my cafe. For me, it was very surprising. I told, how come Mufti is here? He asked me, who are you? I said, I own this brand and company. Oh, then Allah's plan. I wanted to meet you. That's what. That's the reason I'm here. Oh, <laughs> subhanallah. So, alhamdulillah, relationship start from there. So, alhamdulillah, more than more than ten years. So, we're, 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 so he's like a, you know, he's like a uh, mentor to us. Oh, so a, a, any doubt, anything, for me, you know, he inspired a lot. Alhamdulillah. So he's, uh, he, I've, I've noticed that about him as well. That when he's like close to somebody, he does a lot for them, and he's like very uh, open to, you know, behind the scenes helping and and stuff like that. And he's done likewise, like connecting us but he's connected us with a lot of people and he's always he always speaks very well of us and stuff and we really do appreciate that so right. yeah he's, he's, Mufti is a very very kind person subhanAllah uh, one of the things that we speak about often on this podcast is about money and money management what are some of the money lessons you learn kind of over that 12 over that 20 year period as the business is expanding what kind of like uh, messages can you impart to us and the listeners about how to best deal with and manage money as, as your money grows my, my intention the day one is that create a job so much other that's what i'm telling that so uh, i think at the moment uh, in my brand including all the countries almost uh, we have uh, almost 500 almost 600 plus people are working there so you know that the the first intention for me to the motto is that create a job so the first uh, the from the first story and today the reason the, ex- the creating the ex- uh, expansion is that uh, the ultimate goal is that make uh, make the brand grow parallelly create a job. 
so you know we wanted to create a job so th- 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 that's what i do uh, for my uh, personal experience what i gain from the my business you're a people person yeah people of course i'm a people person because see my my brand attach to the people yeah if the people are there my brand is there if the people are not there my brand is not there because yeah. you know so it it is connecting the tea is connecting lo- a lot of you know that emotion nostalgia and everything so th- that that's the power of the tea uh, in in its early stages did you have opportunities to be able to say actually i'm going to have less people and take more for myself but no i'm going to actually create more jobs for more more people yeah definitely uh, that that's what philly today is growing alhamdulillah and people who works for philly also they are very loyal to the brand and uh, because they are happy we are happy uh, so you know that we always uh, fulfill their dream and they always fulfill our dream also mm-hmm. so they are very very polite very loyal to the even customer also very loyal to the even uh, uh, company also so uh, it's 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 a joint joint effort and it's a joint call alhamdulillah so we fulfill them they fulfill us back so how did you learn how to actually run and scale a business uh, i'll tell you if some, if you're putting somebody into the swimming pool with or swim of course he know how to come come out of the swimming pool if it doesn't know how to swim also it is same like when you enter the business so it is doesn't mean that we need to know something you know the business itself teaching back so a lot of struggle you know that so this is business taught me everything i didn't uh, t- uh, t- uh, talk from uh, yeah. any, anybody so you know when when we enter the business always business teach us everything yeah. you know, so what was, so what was the first mistake you made that you was like that taught you a lot the first mistake i don't say that you know that when i was working in the nivea and uh, i started this philly cafe and parallelly i wanted to uh, renovate my store uh, i was working in the nivea i told you right Uh, I, i i want to renew the store by the time uh, i'm going to the work morning and a late report happen uh, parallelly i have a store here the reason is that late report because of the because of the i i work I, the one, out of three people i'm the one who working outside to get the order order and everything so you're working at nevia during the day and then in the night you're working at philly exactly at what time you, when when were you sleeping that's what that, that's a big biggest question i'll i'll tell you by 6 or 7 i'll be at the store and i'll work it 2 2 am or maybe 2:30 then i'll go to bed 3 3 3:30 then i'll get up for a fajr then again i shower and i had to go for work i had to hurry to work so, so you know that that time the sleeping is nightmare but i used to sleep but i i'll manage my timing sleeping uh, in the my uh, duty hours i i used to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's what he said rule one day 3 am to fajr it doesn't seem like yeah. enough yeah. but yeah. i used i used to sleep in recent recent interview i told that okay i used to sleep uh, under the a uh, tree where i get the maximum shadow i park my car i put ac and i sleep there ah, oh, no, but it's 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 a, you know that that's a best sleep uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you know that so what, what was the question again <laughs> what was the first big mistake that yeah the, big, the big mistake you know that then parallelly i wanted to renovate my store and i given uh, i made a design and everything i given the work to the contractor the contractor had given the first advance also then he didn't turn back Hmm. he didn't turn back so he's telling that uh it for me even i the late report uh, lose my job also there okay. and even here also i uh, given the uh, shop shut and i given the contract to start the work so the it was a bi- it's not a big mistake it's a big risk i have taken in my life the beginning itself is a big risk then uh, but of course you know that then i got a, a job under uh, the same company they told me to because we will terminate you otherwise you uh, uh, have to resign they if you terminate you don't get any compensation then he, by i i was literally uh, checking with this gentleman uh, the officer he told me that i can you work in the warehouse so then i moved to the working under warehouse but it uh, normally the shop should open a month month time so it took me a more than 3 month because of the contract and everything it became a big mess uh but it's a big lesson for me uh, that time you know how to overcome that all so yeah. alhamdulillah god grace we overcome that's what i'm telling the until now we don't test we don't know how deep is it uh, once the store was renovated is that when you moved full time to working at philly yeah after renovating no no after renovating so then the store is open back mm-hmm. right so the say alhamdulillah after renovating the st- the sale also went up is good and uh, after that i, I was working in uh, almost three month uh, again uh, on the warehouse okay then then we t- take take a call on to be focus on the business full time wow yeah so then then alhamdulillah the uh, so the training happened i thought okay if i spend maximum time i'll get i'll get more order i'll get a more sale Yeah. So then thought okay uh, uh, resign from the job and 
focus on the full time business i feel like now one of the things that we are there's like this um there's like fight in society between two notions one of them being to to work really hard and to grind and to hustle and the other notion is you don't need to work too hard uh, you just have to uh just just uh, like if you're an employee just do exactly what's needed of you and then and then stop working or if you're working for yourself try and find like the fastest way to make money do you feel like uh, we're now like we're starting to lose uh this like notion of, of hard work you even when you had the option to leave your job you still worked both jobs just to make sure that feely worked yeah because people people doesn't want to take a, uh, you know what we call that so people want to be everything easy now right and the market is easy also people yeah. there are there are a lot of ways to make money yeah but there is no lot of ways to make brand yeah so uh, two things are there as i we did a creative we did a fantastic created a fantastic brand uh i didn't focus on the making money mm -hmm. so if you are talking about the market what happening in the market there are a lot of ways to make money in halal ways only itself but creating a job you need a pure dedication mm -hmm. so you know that you have the not only the pure dedication and discipline also so your time everything we have to put 100% then only you can create a job and after after became a successful also you have to be keep dedicate to make it to the next level so being a dubai born brand so now mashallah became an international brand so we are in many countries and it's loved by dubai and looking to win the world world over so alhamdulillah that caption itself is very big so you know wherever we open i mean the people know about philly because dubai itself is the uh, uh, aviation to you know uh, aviation up so 200 uh, more than 200 uh, national delivery in dubai so they were all aware of philly and it is for me it's it's uh, to expanding the business to other countries also it's more easy because the word of mouth already happened in dubai going to their country back so it's already it's easy yeah, yeah, so yeah. you know that Hang yeah on. dubai is a good place to launch Uh, if you want to launch a global brand, Dubai's a pretty good place, yeah. as you said, because like so many people were here. Even before you moved, I remember you were saying um, that you want to go home bakery and get uh, the milk cake. Remember? Yeah. And it was like because it's because you'd visited you, uh, home bakery is another homegrown, like Philly homegrown, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. quote unquote UAE based. Rafi was there last night. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> milk cake or no milk cake? No, it's a milk cake. Yeah. yeah. Which one? So because they have the crack, is there? The crack. What's that? The crack. We need to crack that. Oh, fine. Crackies in London yeah. means something completely yeah. different. <laughs> yeah. so they have much variety. Yeah. You don't get that home bakery in London. No. Yeah. But, <laughs> oh, so the pistachio milk cake is what I love. Yeah, everything is good. Yeah. 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 Milk cake is good, but you know they have a lot of the, uh, other variety. So. So uh, okay, I have, I have I have so many questions. I I need to write these down. Um, w w one of these que one of the questions I had. I'll try and do it in order. You just spoke about discipline, hard work, um, and like integrity, and having to have that. I, I see through your Instagram and stuff like that now that you have some. You have, you have children. How many children do you have? Three. I have four. Four children. Yeah. Mashallah, may Allah bless oh, them. No, no, no. And they seem like they're growing up. They're growing yeah. children. How do you instill that in them? Uh, because they. You know, you grew up when your dad was building this one business okay. with this one shop, and then the mattress store, and you had to kind of like work your own way as well. Yeah. Whereas your children are growing up where their dad has, mashallah, hundreds of stores. Yeah. Uh, 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 how do you make sure they still have that, uh, that lesson of discipline and understanding and valuing what they have? Uh, of course, we cannot even judge, you know, that no, nowadays people have different mentality. So when, when, if you know that when parents have good business, the today's generation, Gen Z, we call it Gen Z, right? Mm -hmm. Their mentality is entirely different. They wanted to be entrepreneur. They wanted to set up their own business. They wanted okay. to, they are, they are wanted to be keep uh, limelight in their own way in the market. Ah, oh, so they're not interested. No, no, no. <laughs> I I don't say my kids. I'm telling that today Gen Z, fine, the fine, Gen Z fine. Gen Z is there. Of course, when it comes to my kids, of course I'm I'm nurturing like that. You know, I'm nurturing. I wanted to be you know uh, inherit my business. You know that if what I did today to the society or to to, to towards the uh, the world. The, we need to carry the same way of course when no in, in the small age itself i'm taking my kids to my store i'm taking uh, kids to my office also to to get the some knowledge about business mm -hmm. some ways they, we have to adapt we have to given a chance to learn about that that i'm i'm doing but allah knows the best uh, whether they will carry this business and they will set up their own business but inshallah my wish is to they, ha they have to be in my business in tomorrow 
Inshallah, let's see. Inshallah. So, okay, so then my next question was was the following. We have um, we have a at Fresh Uganda we have a few good friends in 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 the chai business, for example, right? <laughs> yeah. And um, and what comes across to me from you, you seem like a very positive person. I've not in I've only I've only spoken to you. I I I, I got to speak to you at length the, the other day when we met, and obviously here and we've been speaking over the phone here and there. I haven't heard you say one negative thing. You haven't said anything negative about others about yourself about other businesses about competitors and that's come as a real surprise to me yeah. because you're I, i'm sure that to be as successful as you are you have to to an extent be a ruthless businessman right and i'm sure you are a ruthless <laughs> businessman as well you have, you have to, and it's, it's an admirable trait but i love that you don't say anything negative about others and um and i wonder if that's something that ever plays on your mind because like i said we, we've got great friends uh, here who are kind of doing similar businesses in london and mashallah they're very very successful and they've supported freshly grounded as well and it's the same like do you feel like um do you feel like there's n there's no time to look at uh being negative to others you have to be positive about yourself and your own business and that's the only way you grow because you know, uh, life lesson taught me a lot. You know, <coughs> the, when when I start the business, so the first store, my my first store have an ample seating outside, and my next store, uh, it doesn't have ample seating outside. Uh, outside, they have the business. What I do is doing triple the business than me, okay. because he, he he using my chairs outside. Okay. But uh, from there, not from there, but maybe some some somewhere in my blood itself, Allah Allah given that. A blessing because I never look at someone's business so and and the thing is that see when you when you do the business and all his customers sitting in my outside my uh, my, my chairs then my staff told me uh, Rafi better we tell this gentleman this is this seat is occupied for Philly not for the uh, other one I told my uh, gentleman who knows that we know that right but outside people think that again okay, it is our customer it is our customer, yeah. so you don't lose anything. I don't so, lose anything. If so. it is empty, we lose a lot. Yeah. Mm. People think that there is no business so. in the beginning. So. so you know, Alhamdulillah. So then I I told him I I even I tell this gentleman never judge anything in the first sight. Give a chance. But of course, when our time time come, Allah will bless us, inshallah. But even that time also we are doing good. We are, we don't do what others are doing. So even the the, the generosity from my side. Give, giving my seat sitting for next for the next door cafe so from there itself the, the, the beginning of my journey itself is there i don't look at someone what others are doing because allah's plan allah's bless everyone in his risk mm -hmm. it, it is not controlled by me or you or anybody it's a risk from allah so we can't do and if, we, if i <coughs> pinpoint or something like that i don't even uh, profit or lose anything on that so, so we always show our own our own shoe but rather than other shoe so that is my policy Okay, and that's an amazing and beautiful mindset. You said that, and this is this is the part of the story that I found really inspiring when I first heard it. It was it, I, when I heard your story. I think it was a recent interview of yours. You were speaking about your lifestyle at the time when you were working two jobs and you weren't sleeping much. And um, Subhanallah, you know people they um, they can sleep. They have they, they have one job. They have one very comfortable job. They do it. They they very successful Muslims, and they get to finish at a good time. They spend time with their family and they go to sleep at a decent time. And they could get ten hours sleep, but yet they still don't wake up for fajr. <laughs> and it's a, it's a, it's really a shame, Subhanallah. And yet you would sleep at three o'clock in the morning. You have work at six or seven and, and you're still waking up for a fajr right. and i think that's what i found really inspiring this yaqeen this trust in allah so the question that i wanted to ask is throughout this journey that you've been on um how much has islam pay, played a role in your life in your success how much do you uh, how much of your time do you or your business do you put to making sure that islamically what you're doing is is always aligned um yeah, how, 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 how does Islam play a role in your life? Uh, first of all, I, I'm into more religious. So, uh, you know that uh, what Islam taught that I'm trying to do that. What Islam uh, make voluntary compulsory for me that in terms of prayers and everything, we never miss the pray. We can't miss the pray also, which is voluntary. We need to do that. So in terms of business also, we make sure everything, even including zakat. So we, we have to be, f what we, are, we are following what Islam actually uh, told us to do that. 
Alhamdulillah, even in personal life, in the business life, even 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 in anything, we always uh, focus and we are uh, following the what Islam uh, Islam told us to do that. So Alhamdulillah, I think I'm I'm very thankful because Allah guiding me like that also. So you know, uh, being a Muslim and people are not following Islam, there are a lot of a lot of people are there, right? Um, Alhamdulillah, uh, for thank thank Allah for guiding me. Uh, I mean, one of one of the one, one of the one of them. So now following the Islam. Alhamdulillah. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna ask a, a question that's not as good. Your question was much better than the question I'm gonna ask. But I want to go back to what you were saying um, previously when you when you said business taught you, right? You business was taught, teaching you lessons. A lot of thing, a lot of the time I hear people are sort of scared to open a business. <clears throat> they have excuses about opening a business. They'll say things like. Oh, most businesses fail in the first five years, so I, I shouldn't do it. I don't have enough money to start a business, so I won't do it. I don't have the time. It sounds like you had all those obstacles, but you did it anyway. And mashallah, you, you built something, you scaled something big, mashallah. Yeah. What's one piece of advice you give to someone who, who wants to start a business, but they've got these excuses and they, <coughs> they've convinced themselves that they shouldn't? Actually, uh, I'm telling that, okay, so we should not take a uh, true decision in, uh, to enter anything. If you plan to do something, just enter that so you know don't because you know shaitan plan is always confusing you so you know that if you have product good product and uh, that you can sell it in the market and you believe in that just enter to the business you know that so ta maybe time will make you that success but it, it doesn't success in the first year doesn't success in the second year but if you have more dedication of course you know that we have to give a hardcore dedication for anything anything if you believe in the product or anything so inshallah that time will make you success during that frame, inshallah. Yeah. That I believe that. That I believe because not not me, not only me, the people who are in the business of successful uh, business throughout the world, they all make this empire, whatever the success story. It is not for one year or ten years. You see that in in, in any company like in in India, Tata and all, they 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 have the history of more than hundred years, and you know they they believe in that and people and they live with, they, they believe in the product and everything. A, any brand, it 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 doesn't success in an o, o, one year time. If you're talking me, even Apple. Apple first, first make a $1 trillion, $1 trillion company in almost 40 years time. The second trillion dollar is in a two years time. Yeah. Mm. So you know that. So the first trillion dollar company to begin, they've taken 40 years of time. Mm. So it means the patience. That's true. Yeah, so you know. I love that, I love yeah. that, that's very good. So you know. Do you also think it's a coincidence, right? Because I always think some people are just more entrepreneurial, they, they, they want to start businesses. And I wondered what that is. I, I used to think maybe it's just like some people more risk averse. But I actually think, your, correct me if I'm wrong, your dad owned a business, your yeah. father owned a business, my father owned and still owns a business. Do you think it's more of like what you see growing up and that just, that just opens, that opens a door? Or do you think it's just like more of a natural thing? You just, this person naturally wants to do something by themselves, whereas other people, they just naturally, they'd rather be employed rather than be an employer. What do you think? Do you think your dad's, your dad doing that sort of inspired you to do it? Or yeah, what do you think? No, because but my story is different. Because you know, I I got a. Beautiful Sorry, Rafi. Can I just ask, how is this tea st so, still hot? Is it is can there something inside the cardboard that's keeping it hot? Yeah, exactly. Ah, yeah, yeah. got a little yeah. got a little heater in there. No, because it looks <laughs> it, outside it's just like cardboard. Could you yeah, pour exactly. Could you pour us some, mate? Yeah, no. sorry. sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you guys, but <laughs> <Yeah>. I just fooled <laughs> <laughs> myself. It's the worst <laughs> host. Yeah. He made he made the guest pour his own tea. <laughs> yeah. and the second time, <laughs> did not pour him one either. Oh, you know what? Yeah, he did it for problems. Because on the camera, outside, yeah. obviously, it just looks like cardboard, didn't it? It does, but, yeah. Must have you, you, bro, I just pulled myself a second cup of tea. This tea is now about one hour old. I was joking it's about still boiling. Hot. I was joking yeah, about low heat. Almost uh, more than three, uh, almost three hours, I think. Really? Yeah, because uh, you know that you. Like lead time. No, lead, no, I don't want. Thank you. Lead time for the go delivery is almost forty-five minutes, right? Yeah. So if you yeah. want to enjoy this tea again, it will go. It will last easily more than more, almost three hours. Okay, so you make it fresh every time they every time the order comes in. You're making it fresh for the order. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. Fine, I, I see, told see. you, right? So keep, keep brewing that. Keep right, brewing. Right, right. It's, it's like yeah. a big, it's like a big pot, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you keep yeah. renewing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't. I, I can't remember. I've very rudely interrupted your question, um, but I also wanted to say something else, which is that. <laughs> Where are you getting your suits from? <laughs> because have you seen I the have sleeve? Have you seen the sleeve, Cairo? No. Just show Cairo the sleeve of your your suit. This one, right? Yeah. You're talking about. Yeah. Oh, wow. Signature. But uh, one thing I've noticed, I've followed you for a while now on Instagram. Okay. Every day you have a custom suit on, and every day it's got cust it's got Philly on it. Where are you getting your suits done? 
Of course, that's I, a secret. I, no secret. What? There is no secret in this world. <laughs> okay, fine. Right? There is nothing secret in this world because you know we have, I, I I I do have uh, more than one tailor, so you know that. Okay, fine. So it, it, of course that Dubai is the destination to make ma- make you more charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see, like you're your man who's into your fashion, yeah. <laughs> so alhamdulillah, so, so somewhere we I have some uh, taste in the fashion also. Okay. But you know that. I don't know whether it is someone's choice. I'm again old school guy. I'm a good cut guy. Do you know what? I, I do like it. I, I, every now and again, I get this thought. And I think, should I just become a suit man? Yeah. I do think about it sometimes. I think I've only ever seen you I in suits. And I think it does look good. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. it? I, it think, I think the same sometimes. Ah, thank you for the big, yeah. great compliment. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. sometimes look, there's some, some guests that walk in and they're wearing mashallah, amazing suits. I just think, oh, I've got my hoodie on today. <laughs> yeah, you know should've, what? Should've I don't on. think I can leave it either. I yeah, know. I know it's a tough one because in one way you're like suits always look good. Yeah. And in another way, like if you look at like startup founders, Mark Zuckerberg or something, it can just be relaxed. Yeah. You don't know what you don't know what one, but uh, so while Fez are finding his suit, we'll get back to the question I asked you before he really interrupted us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> your your father your father having or your father being an entrepreneur, should we say he opened his own store. Yeah, yeah. When you saw that, do you think maybe subconsciously you were like, Okay, I wanna do something similar? Or did you always have that in your mind that you want to do something yourself? No, there was nothing, you know, I told you, right, time makes me an entrepreneur. Yeah. So time makes me, because I told, because I, we all came to Dubai to seek the job. Even my father had a store, we, it's, it's never in my mind that I'm going to run the store. Right. So came to Dubai to seek the job. Yeah. But time makes me uh, step into that. So, but within one year, you, you did it, right? Yeah, within one year. So, yeah. why, so what made you think, okay, I've got a job, but I, I want something else. What made you think that? No, because see, it's all coincident. You know that actually, I uh, I was staying in the accommodation where I'm getting a lot of fines, mukhalifa. Okay. Because of the uh, timing, so you know that when it comes to not this time, I'm talking about the 19 years back. Uh, I live in Dera. I live in Dera with my friends at that time. So you know, so if Ati, you know, mukhalifa, Ati, fine. So you you know that, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you delay, I'm, I'm uh, very five, well acquainted with f- it. Yeah. Five minutes, they will put a fine. So then I thought I moved to the accommodation where my dad had dad a cafe, right? Then from there, you know, the it's all coincident. I moved to that accommodation. There is ample parking. There is nothing, no mukhalifa. You can park your car anytime, any, anytime, no problem. Then uh, while coming back from the job, you know, I, I used to purchase all, all the stuff from the market. I used to help them, you know, otherwise they have to go cycling almost six kilometers to go Hamriya, Hamriya, that time Hamriya. Mm-hmm. So to get get the old stuff, uh, then I thought, okay, I'm, anyway, I'm coming back from my job, right, evening. I'll, I'll get you because I'm, as long as I'm that same accommodation. So that inspired me because I feel that, okay, because I'm lo- doing a lot of stuff to them. Why if I'm taking from my dad this store, I can do the same thing, right? Yeah. Then I told dad because, uh, let me try, because let me run this store. Then he told me that, Rafi, just 21. You know how to run the business. It is again, I told you, right? It is again say yes to the dad and started the business. But Alhamdulillah, Allah bless with the su- super awesome chai. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. It's, Alhamdulillah. 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 it's a good chai. Do you feel very, uh, how do you feel like you owe um, a lot of gratitude to the to, to the city of Dubai just bec- in the sense that because of the growth that's happened with um, Philly, I asked you when I met you last uh, a few days ago. I said um, you seem to have a very good relationship with the Bay, and you yeah. said yes, of course. H- did that take time to build? Uh, you know, w- yeah. What, what's your relationship like with the Bay in general? Because this is where Philly has grown, isn't it? Exactly, uh, Dubai makes me what I'm today. So uh, not only me, even brand to because you know the my even my first customer, my first customer, even my first store. Mm-hmm. All the from the royal family. Oh, really? Yeah, all from royal family. So you know, I'm talking 19, 19 years back. So the Mamzer is a very you know beach beach area. So they they drive e- evening evening to the beach. Then the next thing is that only Philly. Mm-hmm. So a good cup of chai. Mm-hmm. So Alhamdulillah. So mm-hmm. we serve to the royals also. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, they love our chai. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good to know. You got good feedback. Ah, of course. Their feedback uh, make us you know the network. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. So, no, they, they influence a lot to the brand, you know that. Yeah. So when when some somebody uh, try the chai, they tell to someone from their, their friend circle, then it became, you know, mm-hmm. big network. Yeah. It's a big network. Alhamdulillah. So that's how I told you, right? It's not created by me. It's created by people. So, do, you, do you have any plans to do drive through Philly anytime soon? At the moment, we don't have any drive through at, at the moment. So inshallah, we are coming in Oman. 
Okay, amazing. The first drive through, we have planned, but it's not fine. Less, it's uh, it's we go to this place and we have make. Uh, let's see how we'll make it a, in a drive through feeling. Well, you know what I'm interested. In? I'm interested in seeing if anyone figures out how to do like a a digital drive through, because I think one of the one of the problems with drive throughs currently is that it, it it takes a lot of time. Uh, and b- there's like two or three windows you have to go to through. Right. You're speaking to different humans, you're paying one human, you're receiving from another human and, and stuff like that. And I, I think one good step that a lot of these brands like McDonald's and KFC made was they obviously made the the, the first kiosk digital. So now you just speak to like the person through the microphone right. and then you see... But, but it, it yeah. didn't it's really still not move, good. It's, yeah, it didn't move things leaps yeah. and bounds. And I think something like Philly is a perfect product for that where... You're driving um, through near a petrol station uh, in Dubai, and it's got you call it like a Philly station, for example, right? right? And look, okay. could, look, I'm, now I'm now the CMO of Philly. Yeah, yeah. yeah just let me <laughs> indulge. Let me pretend for a second. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm doing Philly's digital growth. All right, so not yeah. So we're going through a physical growth, maybe. We're going through petrol station, and there's a Philly station there. No humans. Yeah. And you go there. And you roll down your window, you're driving, and you just press whatever T you want, and, and you take it and you go. Because there's only so many variations, obviously, of things you get. With McDonald's, I understand people would say, oh, no sauce, this, that, the right, other. Right, right. But I, I, there'll be no humans involved with that. It's like a pillar, like one little pillar. In fact, you know- It's like a vending I, machine. Huh? Like a huge vending machine. Like a huge vending machine, but- But he's talking about the same vending driving. machine when, when you drive through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vending yeah. machine, you have to get a step out, right? Yeah. It yeah. is through the drive through. You know, yeah. it almost. ATM machine. ATM yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like ATM, like yeah. almost like an like electric charging point. Like very. And you just see them everywhere. Like this station has really. It's a KVM. A Karak vending machine. A Karak vending machine. Yeah. yeah. You can take that for free. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good to you know. He normally charges for his coffee. <laughs> yeah. He's got a business on charging for his words. Um, so, uh, oh, you know what? Have you seen this? There's this coffee shop in, I think it's in LA. And it's cool. It's like, um, it's a, have you seen it? Yeah. Oh, we, they spoke about it. What is it called? I, I don't want to know. The video it's, it's a Robo Cafe, right? Robo, Robo Cafe. Yeah, I think that's what it's that. called. What is that? I want to show you. Yeah, it, is it, it, right? It's literally a cafe. Like a, uh, they make coffee. They're going to take Starbucks out of business. Yeah, but yeah? It's, just, it's just a robot. Robot, so you right? go up to it, and the robot is there in like, like a glass cube. Okay. And he makes the coffee, he does the milk, okay, and then okay, gives okay. it to okay. you. I've seen in uh, Russia also this one. Yeah. They're Russia. becoming popular, I think. Yeah. But having said that, my counter argument is. Having someone make the tea, pour the tea. When I go to current place, I like to see them sometimes pour the tea. Right. You can see the big cauldron. He's mixing. Right. That is nice. Right. It's a nice experience. Right? Traditional way. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. True. So yeah. I, I'd like that with one person making the tea. Right. No, but right? how about like I'm talking about just the drive. So it wouldn't take away any of the. I hate, but even with a drive through, like you could have that, you could have that sort of um, selecting thing. But there's still a man there, make the, the big pot, and he's making it, and he pours it for you. That, and you know you still pay you still pay digitally. Right, right. That could be not. I'd like that because you still, you get the digital and the experience. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, chai, we need always experience. We need yeah. the traditional way. The, the traditional currency way. You take it any, anyway. But yeah. The taste come from the you know that the traditional. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The the human you made with love. You know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. With love. It's important. Oh, you know one thing you could do, right? You know, like how Amazon have. Um, Amazon have opened these stores. I don't know if they're here, but they're in the UK. They have these stores where you walk in, right. you put whatever you want into your bag, and you walk out. Right. You don't pay, you don't scan it, right. nothing. Right. It uses technology to detect, when you pick it up and you put it in your bag, uh, was it with your, when you put it in your bag? Maybe you scan it actually with your phone. No, no you don't. You pick it, it up, yeah, you you pick it up, and then you leave, but you scan your code with, as you walk in, so it knows it's you. And yeah, then but, you and then you walk bank. out. But yeah. and it knows your Amazon. It just takes it from your bank account, from your Amazon account. Exactly. Right? So imagine, for example, right? It knows your. Uh, you you put your number plate on the Philly website. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're driving through a drive-through. You pick up your tea. You don't even pay. You just drive off, and it yeah. just takes money out of your Philly account from your drive from your um, number plate. I like plate. that. I like that. It, it's not surprise. It is a future, of yeah, course. You know. Mm-hmm. I like it. And th- this is uh, Amazon, but re- uh, recently, uh, Carry Ford started here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, sure. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Carry for started here. Started oh really? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it will be inshallah a big era inshallah mm. moving forward. Inshallah. It will be available everywhere. Anyway. Yeah. Well look, Any- if you need to get into artificial intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> what? I was about to say the reason. That's my field now. The reason, the reason he's going down his route is because he works for an AI company. Mashallah. Soon he's going to be like a. R- R- Rafi knows about it. Yeah. A- it. AI karak, bro. It's like the AI already knows that you want to karak today. It's already ordered it for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Just got to go pick it you up. You got to figure it out. Yeah. Uh, you um, uh, did you download Tertil for your kids on their phones? Which one? Tertil. 
Yeah. Let me know your account. I'll put, I'll put your free. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you know mine as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know mine. All right, mate. Uh, no, no, you guys. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, Rafi, it's been uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been absolutely amazing having your time. Thank you so much. Um, please do come back again. I, I always find that I, my favorite episodes with people are my second episode with them because I feel like in the first episode we get to know each other, and then on the second episode we're a lot more relaxed and yeah. uh, and stuff. So please do come back. And if there's anything we can do to support you, uh, we're always here. And um, yeah, like I said, thank you for your time. Thank you, Faisal, for uh, inviting me. And mashallah, it's a be- be- beautiful gathering to Thank know you. each other and yeah. to know your studio and everything. And what you're doing so far, mashallah, is a fantastic thing. Thank you so Alhamdulillah, much. Alhamdulillah, and thank you for uh, putting me on your, uh, I mean, on, on your studio. Thank you for having it's us. Re- re- really, 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 you know, uh, nice experience. Well, hopefully it's beneficial uh, kind of on both ends. And uh, we'll be seeing a lot more of you. Now, every time we all drive past the Philly and we're drinking the Philly tea, we'll... Um, uh, we'll be thinking of you. You know, I have to tell you one funny story before this ends. I told Cairo, right, the other day, I'm going to embarrass you, Cairo. Yeah. I said to Cairo the other day, I said, we've got an episode coming up. <laughs> I need your help to produce it. And he was like, okay, yeah, cool. And I said, it's with the guy, who, the CEO and founder of Philly. And she said, all right, cool. Very interested. He's like, yeah, we, we, we're conversating about it. For hours have passed now since I've told him about <laughs> okay. it. And then Cairo was like, oh, I'm doing some work tonight. Do you want to come and work out of a coffee shop? So we're working late night, coffee shop. And then I said, and then he said to me, I said to him, oh, um, we've confirmed the date or whatever for this Philly episode. And he goes, what did you say to me? I said, I said, what, Philly steaks? Yeah, he goes, what, uh, Philly, Philly, uh, Philly cheese steaks. I said, so this whole time, he thought we had oh the CEO of Philly cheese steaks on here. I don't, but I, I, I don't drink tea. Yeah. I'm not, I don't drink tea. So I don't know anything about tea I, here. I think this evening we're making my... We've converted him. Yes, yes. <laughs> we've converted, yeah. we converted him. It's the same with coffee. We yeah, came yeah. to the coffee shop and he just has the... the no, no, but people shows. who doesn't drink tea, believe me, when they start drinking Philly, yeah. they're t- telling that, okay, it's not tea. Yeah. But some something is a good signature. Don't if you if you are not a tea guy, don't consider this is a tea. This is a signature one. You have to trick your mind. I've tried it. Yeah. it, it, it is but nice. don't try this one. This is uh, for, for Faisal taking a Philly light. Yeah. So you should try the. I mean, you go full sugar. Yeah, you go full sugar. Have you ever had the full sugar one? No. You like you like it. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go visit because you guys do food as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Food is phenomenal. Not cheesesteaks though, mate. No. So so listen, food wise, let me just quickly tell you, my favorite is the uh, enchilada. It's the, um, what's the enchilada that uh, I had it the other day as well? It's called dynamite, dynamite enchilada. Dynamite. You like that, yeah? Enchilada's cheese though, right? The, what, uh, enchilada? The enchilada has cheese in it. It's cheese, yeah. yeah. I can't have cheese. Okay. The other thing, Kaya's favorite thing, the foodles. The, the noodles, okay. your, yeah, your Foodles, noodles. Yeah, your noodles. Wow, the taste yeah, was noodles. amazing. The noodles, right? yeah. amazing, man. Right, amazing. you should try that. You should try. Which, one, which one's which one's the which one's the main? Uh, which is the bigger one where you can sit down and eat? Is All of them. But uh, you know, feel no, no, no. He's saying which restaurant is a good restaurant to sit. Which come come to Lamir. Ramir. Lamir, Lamir. Oh, Lamir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you call it Lamir, yeah. The pronunciation. Yeah, yeah us British call it Lamir. Lamir. Yeah. Lamir. Oh, fine. Uh, uh, the, the sports city one is close, and you can sit in there. It's quite. It's a bit small, but you can sit in there. It's a, oh, a new one, it? that one, right? It's very, it looks very new, like the architecture is nice. Right? Yeah. Uh, the ICC, no, no, it's almost. Uh, it's also opened by Mufti again. Oh, was it? Yeah, it's opened by Mufti. It's almost two years completed, I think. Okay. Third year, okay. I think. Well, I'll go visit. Maybe mm-hmm. inshallah today. Yeah, that's a small store. You should come if you want experience. It come come to the. So what's a good big store, Lamir? Lamer is there uh, because no, we have Barsha is there nearby. Barsha is there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna Google. Barsha also near to you, I think. Yeah, yeah, right. it's not far. Yeah. Okay, yeah. inshallah, I'll go. I'll let you know how how, how it goes. Which malls are you in? Uh, we are in Zaya City Center. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. Uh, we are in Dera City Center, and uh, we are in Barjuman. Okay. We are coming into the mall now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah. That's where Kai gets his haircut. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kai is a bit bougie. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah. I will be getting the filly from there to, to balance out now. Yeah, exactly. Get yeah. a haircut and a tea. Yeah. Just enjoy it. There you go. Uh, thank you so much, Rafi. Inshallah, we we'll see you very soon. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank you for being vulnerable with us. Uh, we uh, may Allah put uh, more barakah in your business uh, and give you goodness in this life and the next. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Inshallah.